we see something besides dirt and brush. Well, I warned you what it would be like before we left San Francisco. Well, I must not have been listening or I'd have stayed there. You'll get used to it. I'm not sure I want to. I'll see to it you don't get bored. I'm sure you'll do your best, Lute. Not hurt, eh, senorita? Not fatally. If I know there was a lady in the coach, I... What would you have done? Hold it up anyway. All right, you can spare us a conversation. Now, what do you want of us? It's morning. What do you think, eh? Come on, take everything from the pocket, throw them on the ground. But slow. I would not like to kill two fine-looking men and a senorita. You better do what he says, Dad. Senorita, you're pretty, but I like the bracelet and the ring better. Come on, on the ground, everything. Gracias, senor, for washing the shirt. It couldn't very well wear it the way it was. How does the arm feel? Mm, not so good. Be all right, Moyana. Moyana, I better get you to a doctor. Oh, no, I don't think so. You crazy? I took that slug out of you. That arm needs attention. Oh, gracias. It's a little chilly out here after sundown. Oh, there's it. How'd you get shot? With a gun. Sounds logical. Hungry? Yeah, I could eat something. I'll rustle up some grub. Tell me, senor, why you do all this for me, huh? Do what? Well, you, you fix my, my wound, you share your food, you save my life. Why you do this? I do it for anybody. Even for enemy? You're no enemy of mine. How you know that? I never saw you before today. How could you be my enemy? You white man, me yaki. 
Always your people, my people, enemies. It doesn't always have to be that way. There's been too much bloodshed on both sides. Yaquis killing Americans and Mexicans. Mexicans and Americans killing Yaquis. It has to end someday. You believe this? Yeah, don't you? If more white men like you, maybe, but it's never gonna happen. You don't want to fight me, do you? Fight you? After what you do for me, I fight for you, not against you. That's my point. You get back what you put out. You a stranger in this country, eh, senor? I'm from up north. You ever hear of a man called Yaki Jack? Never heard of him. Who is this Yaki Jack? Me. I'm glad to know you. Webb Dunham. You sure you never heard of Yaki Jack? No. Oh. Maybe I don't be in the business long enough. What business you in? Stagecoach business. You make much money out of it? Oh, sometimes. Pretty soon I gonna get rich and go back to Mexico. You in some business too? That's just say I have some business to take care of. You make money? Not that kind of business. Oh, well, you gonna shoot somebody, eh? That could be part of it. And where you go from here? Take care of a ranch my brother owned before he died. Well, I know all the ranches. What one he owned? Candelabra brand. Oh. You gonna have plenty bad trouble, senor. Someday, maybe you gonna need friends. Remember, Yaki Jack. a drink of water. Never saw you before. I never saw you before either, but I didn't pull a gun on you. Water's all you want. The pump's right over there. Thanks. I bought water for my horses. I guess there's no harm in it. Makes me sort of nervous. What brought you out this way? Did you ever hear of a man named Dunham, Joe Dunham? Yeah, he used to own the ranch next to mine. What did you want with Joe? I'm his brother. Yeah, you do look a little bit like Joe. That's what people always said. I reckon you know Joe's dead. That's the reason I'm here. What are you gonna do? Whatever I have to. You met Matt Quigg yet? No, who's Matt Quigg? He figures to take over this whole territory. Claims to have bought an old Spanish grant that gives him title to the land. All us ranchers got 90-day notice to clear out. You're not going, are you? Yeah, I reckon we are. We all got wives and kids, and Quiggs hired himself some gun throwers to see we'll do as we're told. That's why I met you the way I did. I figured you might be one of Quiggs' new men. I see. I think I'd like to meet this Quig. You will, mister. All you gotta do is squat on that land. You won't have to go looking for him. He'll come looking for you. to know me lefty boy i ran you out of santa rosa five years ago remember i remember now get off my property before i put the run on you again this ain't your property i'm here to tell you you're squatting on matt quigg's land you're wrong on that lefty my brother paid for this spread in hard cash 
You're the one that's wrong. This is a Spanish grant. And Matt Quigg owns the whole spread. Or claims it under a shotgun lease. Either way, it adds up the same. That Mr. Quigg over there? I think I'll have a little talk with him. Wait a minute. If you got any talking to do, you talk to me. All right, Lefty, let's talk. Get off the horse. Hold it. Let Lefty handle him. I want to see what Dunham is made of. a few words with you, Mr. Quigg. Certainly. It's a pleasure to talk to a man with backbone. That was a neat job you just performed on Lefty. Never mind Lefty. I know why you're here, Quigg. Your reputation's gone ahead of you. I might as well tell you now. I'm not interested in any fancy double dealing on Spanish land grants. I don't like double dealing either. Now, you may not think so, but it's the truth. See, lots of folks think that just because that grant was involved in litigation, it was public domain. That doesn't happen to be so. But you're trying to use it as a license to steal. I'm afraid you've been misinformed about me, Mr. Dunham. My policy is to investigate each claim on its own merits. If you have a good deed to this property, I wouldn't think of evicting you. Is that fair enough? That yeah, sounds all right. Well, then let's you and me try and get off on a little better foot, shall we? Here's my hand as evidence of good faith. Let's take care of him, but no gunplay. You look like you enjoyed yourself, Dad. I did. That takes me back to the early days on the Barbary Coast. Get a light? Yeah. He isn't any tougher than his brother. Don't be too hasty in your judgment, son. All right, that's enough. Bring him over here. Get rid of his gun. Now, gather up Lefty and get on your horses. You've got 48 hours to get off of my property. 48 hours. Do you understand that? Get up. Come on. Head up. Come on. Thoughtful of you, but I guess we got everything we need. Don't look like we'll be here very long. I see you finally met Quig. Yeah, I met him. Looking forward to seeing him again. You mean that, don't you? Any reason why I shouldn't? I know your brother Joe stopped by here one day. He said the same thing. I was the one that found him two days later. Who killed him, Tom? He was laying alongside a skinned out calf with Quig's brand. Funny thing, he wasn't carrying a skin and knife. I'm collecting quite a few things to see Quig about. Get out and rest yourself while I change my clothes. Emily wouldn't want to see me go to town in these. Oh, thanks, Tom. You're not going with me. Talk to you tomorrow. He's fed and watered. You going out tonight or staying over? Staying over. I wish there was a mix up, Mr. Dunham, but there isn't. You just don't own a ranch. The land titles were defective. 
Or Matt Quigg paid off the right people. Are you suggesting that I'm in on this deal? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just calling the cards the way they're being played. How much land does that Spanish grant take in? Here are the exact boundaries. According to this, it includes Gila, Pinal, and part of Cochise County. That's right. That takes in this whole corner of Arizona clear down to the border. Can't be right. Quigg has the original document. That could be a forgery. Could be. But nobody's ever proved it yet in court. And by the time somebody might prove it, all the small ranchers around here will be run off their land. Well, that could be too. Maybe all of them except me. I'm not very good at running. Well, if there's trouble, the United States Marshal's office intends to send in a pack of deputies. Quigg has the law behind him. And you wear a badge. Mr. Dunham, all of these ranchers are my friends. I'll do everything I can. But like you say, I wear a badge. Oh, well, thanks anyway. Guess there's nothing much you can do about it. Where are you heading for? I think I'll have another talk with Quigg. You're only asking for trouble. What do you think I got now? I'm still waiting for your answer, Linda. What answer? To the question I asked you in San Francisco. What would your father want me to answer? My father doesn't run my life. Doesn't he? You run along and ask him if he thinks you ought to get married. He might not approve of me as a daughter-in-law. He brought you down from San Francisco, didn't he? As a singer, not to marry his son. Well, what if he says yes? You ask him, Newt. Then I'll let you know. And you're not saying no. I never said no to anything in my life. Maybe that's what's wrong with me.
Hello, Webb. You're sort of off your range, aren't you? Don't tell me you followed me here. Is that what you think? No, but you might be a gentleman and lie to me about it. Not a very good liar. You're not a gentleman either. I'll have a beer, Dutch. All right, Linda. You could at least buy a drink for an old friend. Why not? Well, here's luck. I'll drink to that. Just like old times. Not very much. Dunham? Thought it was made clear you weren't welcome around here. This is a public place, isn't it? Not to you, it isn't. It seems the gentleman wants me to leave. Go away, Luke. Can't you see I'm talking to a friend? Friend? Maybe not a friend. An old acquaintance. Get out of here, Linda. It's liable to be trouble. Are you going to start it? Well... Give him a drink, bartender. Looks like he can use one. You want something? Oh, nothing in particular. Just a little conversation. I've done all the talking to you I intend to. Now, you may be through, but I'm not. You're still squatting on my land? I'm still squatting on mine. Your 48 hours are up. Now, if you come here looking for trouble, I'll be happy to oblige you. Not looking for trouble? Just came by to shake your hand. If you want to send any of your hired hands after me, I'm easy to find. Room 32, the Palace Hotel. Tell Lefty I want to see him in my office. Put the gun away. I'm not dangerous. I'm not so sure. I may be a lot of things, Whip, but I'm not a double-crosser. Then what are you doing here? I came to tell you to get out of town. Did Quigg send you? No. You're sort of double-crossing him, then, aren't you? Well, that's gratitude for you. But you always were the ungrateful type, weren't you? I can't remember too many things I ever had to be grateful for. Well, it's your life, not mine. I just thought I'd tell you that Matt's turning the dogs loose on you. I knew that already. Well, I'm sorry I made the trip. Good night. Now, wait a minute. What for? I don't want to be here when the hatchet men arrive. Uh, they would jump me while I'm still in town. It's against the law. Do you think Matt Quigg cares about the law? Well, let's just say he doesn't like to break it in public. It's pretty private in here. Still in town. Matt wouldn't want his friends to think he'd hire a killing done. He wouldn't want his friends to think some stray cowpoke could kick him around and get away with it either. That's right. So I figure you'll try to bushwhack me the same way he did my brother. I never knew you had a brother. A lot of things you never knew about me. I know that I used to be in love with you once. A lot of good that did me too. Guess there are a lot of things I never knew about you, either. Would it have made a difference? It might have. I don't think so. You see, Webb, you couldn't stay in one place long enough to, to get married. Sometimes a man changes. It's a little late, as far as I'm concerned. How did you ever get tied up with this Quig outfit? 
Money, security. I may have thought a lot of things about you, but I never figured you could be bought. What's wrong with money? Nothing. I'm all for it. It's just that there are a lot of different ways of making it. I work for mine. Why don't you keep on working for it? Because I'm tired of dance halls and saloons. You were never any help to me, and now I've got a chance to get out of this. Lute wants to marry me. Well, are you going to? Yes. My congratulations to the groom. You better get out of here before Lou starts looking for you. She might get wrong ideas. Don't hit him too hard. What are you doing here? I told you someday you might need a friend. So last night I come to pay you a visit, but you was not home. So I come back this morning, I find this man sitting by the window with a gun. It's simple. Oh, uh, thanks, Amigo. Oh, it was nothing. It was a pleasure. Hey, you know this one? Yeah, I know. Maybe you know somebody who want him to shoot you, huh? Yeah, I know that, too. On your feet. How are you going to kill him, amigo? I'm not going to kill him. When he try to kill you, you're not going to try to kill him back? No. All right, I kill him for you. Ah, leave him alone. I ought to let him do it, Lefty. This time I'm going to let you go. Don't ever set foot in this ranch again. You tell your boss if he sends any more of his hired hands after me, I'm coming into town and hang his hide up to dry. Hey, no use you look for your horse, senor. I already turned him loose. <laughs> I think maybe I see your quick send this fellow to kill you. If I had to nominate somebody, he'd get my vote. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Well, I know you can do nothing with this senior queen because he got too many men. I'll think of something. Well, you don't think too good. If you think good, you don't let this fellow get away. You got any ideas? I think maybe you work with me, huh? And together we make plenty of trouble. Oh. 
I don't tell you before. But in Mexico, I am the leader of the insurrecto. General. These men like Senor Quig all the time, they steal the land from the Yaqui. But pretty soon, we're going to steal them back. I don't think I'd be much help to you. Tell me, amigo. You know something about this, uh, this what they call the, uh, the Gatling gun? I've seen them work fine. Good. Then I make you general, you shoot the gun. But I am the first general, eh? Where did you get a Gatling gun? Well, steal it. Where else? You come with me, pretty soon we make big fight, then you get all your land back. Oh, thanks. But I wasn't planning on starting a full-scale war. Well, why not? Then? I understand it's against the law. Well, who cares about the law? Pretty soon I'm going to make all the laws. You think it over, amigo, huh? Adios. Hasta la vista. Tell me a few mangy yockeys are too hard for you to handle. I appreciate how you feel, Mr. Quigg. I know your losses have been heavy. But those yockeys aren't ordinary outlaws. They know every inch of this country, and they come and go like shadows. When you think you have them cornered in one spot, they show up 50 miles away. It'd take an army to cover their movements. That's your problem, Sheriff. Those yockeys are becoming a threat to my holdings, and I want them into custody. One yaki looks like another, Mr. Quigg. What do you expect me to do, arrest them all? That might not be a bad idea. Talk sense, Loot. You've got to have evidence before you can get a legal conviction. Well, who cares if it's legal or not? I do. You give me something definite to go on, and I'll make the arrest. That's why I ask you to come here. I have definite proof that they're using the Dunham Ranch as a hideout. What sort of proof? An eyewitness. Lefty saw Yaki Jack there. They slugged him. They stole his horse. What was Lefty doing there? He was serving an eviction notice. All right. I'll have a talk with Mr. Dunham. I'd like a little talk with Mr. Dunham myself. My carriage is outside. Are you coming, Lute? Sure. Mind if I come along, too? You don't want to go. Well, that's just your opinion, Lute. You're wrong as usual.
Sí, amigo. What are you doing here? Well, I'd be here all the time. You know, you had me plenty worried for a little bit. I, I think maybe I hit you too hard. So you're the one that slugged me. Oh, si, senor. You're my very good friend, otherwise I shoot you. Why'd you bring me here? Well, you was hurt. I bring you here to see you get well again. Or to hold me prisoner. Oh, no, no. You're no prisoner, senor. Your horse is at the stable. You can go any time you want. Oh, thanks. Ano guest of Generalissimo Yaki Jack, head of whole army of liberation. How about the man that owned this place? You one of your guests, too? Don Jose? Oh, he very happy to turn the ranch over for the cause. Sure. He, he true compatriot. Was he happy before or after you killed him? Kill him? Oh, is that what you think of me? Yeah, that's what I think of you. No, I don't want to kill him. Besides, he'll run away before I can catch him. He'll be back. Yeah, I expect so. And he'll have every rally in northern Mexico with him. Well, then don't make no difference. I will be already on my way to Mexico City at the head of my army. You don't think you can really set up a full-scale revolution down here, do you? Well, the revolution guns, man, I already got the man in Senor Qui. He gonna give me the money pretty soon for the guns. Wait. Here? Oh, she is. She, Senor Quig is my guest. How about the girl? She is my guest also. Look, if anything happens to her. Oh, now, amigo. You can be tough hombre with some people, Senor Webb, but not with me. I already almost killed you once when you tried to shoot my people today. Well, let's forget our difference, huh? Let's be friends. Then you can fight with me in the revolution. You can be my Gatling gunner. And maybe you can teach my Valiente how, how to shoot that gun. Oh, thanks. I got enough troubles of my own without getting wound up in your private war. You like the senorita, eh? I don't want to see her hurt. Well, I don't make war on women. Then why don't you let her go? She's not going to do you any good. Oh, she going to do me plenty good, amigo. <laughs> now, what do you mean by that? Well, I see you like her very much. I just said I didn't want to see her get hurt. Well, don't tell me that. I, I am a man who knows all about love. And how you talk, I know you love her. All right. What do I have to do to get her out of here? You show my valiente how to use the, the Gatling gun. All right, I'll show them. Good. Then we're friends again. <laughs> that case, how about giving me back my gun? Well, before you weren't gone, you don't need gone when you were friends. I think I might have a couple of enemies around here, too. You mean Senor Quig? <laughs> don't worry about him. <laughs> decision? Yes, I have. I'm gonna wait you out. Either you snap out of this gunpowder and rum hangover, or my men will trail us down here and run you all over Sonora. <laughs> you people don't even gonna know what happened to you. You see, my yaki, they never leave a sign. And as for waiting, senor, my time is short. My terms, if you pay now, the ransom is $50,000. At midnight is 75, and at dawn is 100,000. $50,000. Oh, I forget. Also, you write the paper and give back the land to my good friend, Senor Dono. Oh, so you're in on this too, huh? No, but it sounds like a real good idea. 
Well, senor, what did you answer? What if I gave you the money? How do I know we'd ever get out of here alive? Oh, but you got my word. Your word? What is your word worth? Well, you don't think I am not honest, huh? Why don't you give him the money? He's holding all the cards. I'll pay him nothing. I'd rather be shot. Uh, maybe we can take care of that. Don't you threaten me, you thieving renegade. Do you think you can take a man from American soil and get away with it? Maybe you don't know who I am. You think I go to all this trouble for nothing? You are Senior Queen. The richest man in the whole border country. And everything you got, you steal from the poor people. So maybe you don't mind giving back a little bit, huh? All right. I'll give you $6,000. Now, you let us out of here, and I'll be willing to forget the whole incident. <laughs> you want to give me back my own money? What do you mean, your own money? I'm going to steal the 6000 anyway. The rest you pay just to get you across the border. Senores, the hospitality of the house is yours. The hospitality of the patio, no. Now, senor, you take over what I said to you, huh? I see you midnight. I see you. What is it? Let me listen to the door. My people from the mountains. We're going to have a big fight. Some more? Well, that's enough. Why did you do it, Jack? Do no. what? Ask Quig to sign a release on my land. Well, you won't take back what belongs to you, so I steal it for you. Because we're friends. I guess that makes sense. No, oh, my good man. When are you gonna let me see the senorita? <laughs> Always, senorita. Don't worry, she's safe in her room with the door locked. From the inside, too. Amigo, why you don't wake up? Hey, you got brain. Come with me, a revolution. I make you big man. We're all the same size, Jack, hanging at the end of a rope. Oh, please, no, no. no, no don't say that. Just think it over, amigo. You don't think I make it go? No. Thanks for the offer, anyway. you in here? Nobody. And nobody told me I couldn't come in either. Well, somebody's telling you now. I got lonesome up there. Well, why didn't you go talk to your Indian friends? They seem to like you. Well, that's where I'm lucky, Lute, because they don't like you. I understand they've got more ways of killing a man than you can think of. Listen, if your friend Yaki Jack sent you in here to threaten us, you're wasting your time. I'm not trying to threaten you. Just telling you the truth. I suppose you think if I pay the ransom money, it'll buy your freedom, too. I don't need you to buy me out. I can go anytime I want. What are you hanging around for? To make sure Yaki Jack takes care of you. Because if he doesn't, I'm going to. Why don't you do something about this, Sharp? Don't just sit there, arrest him. There's no law here. Only insurrectos holding you for head money. Insurrectos. Flat-faced monkeys with straw hats and white drawers. I won't pay another cent more than I offered. I'd like to make you a little bet and give you odds that you change your mind. Just a minute. What other reason do you have for making all these threats, other than losing your land? Collect a debt from my brother. I never owed your brother anything. You must have owed him something. You killed him. What makes you think I had anything to do with it? Everybody knows it was Yaki's. Everybody except me. I'm telling you the truth, Dunham. I did not kill your brother. You hired it, Don. What difference does it make? What reason would I have? Same reason you had for sending Lefty to bushwhack me. You wanted him off the land and he wouldn't go. You're still walking around healthy, aren't you? That's not Lefty's fault. 
The accusations you're making against me are very serious, Dunham. I always thought murder was pretty serious, too. You'll have to prove everything you've said in court. I think I can prove it. I think Lefty will talk. I'm going to try him out with my Indian friends. We didn't mean to kill him. It was an accident. What I mean is, we only meant to scare him. Shut up, Lefty. Who gave the orders, Loot or his father? I've had enough of this, Dunham. If you have any charges to make against me, you make them in court. You're never going to get to court. <laughs> How do you think it feels? Well, hurt a little bit pretty soon. It don't hurt that much. I tried to hit you easy, but I'm a very strong man. Why didn't you let me finish what I started out to do? You want me to let you kill him? Oh, no, he's worth a great deal to me. After I get the money, you want to kill him, I help you. I guess we're no friend no more, huh? Well, all right, amigo. I told you before, you can ride out when you want to. Ride out to what? To what you had when you first come here. You don't want the land? I only hold Senor Quick for $50,000. Until midnight. Yeah, it's pretty good watch, eh? Who'd you steal it from? I didn't ask his name. Oh, one more thing. You're going to show me how to work that gun, eh? Seems like it's in pretty good condition. Well, I never steal nothing that's no good. Still not much of an arsenal to start a war. Don't worry, we get more. We see your quick's money, I make arranging in El Paso for pistolo, gatling, gun, ammunition, everything for my army. Supposing Quick doesn't come up with the money. No, I don't think he want to get killed. Why do you think you can win when everybody else has failed? Every time a cactus blooms out here, there's a revolution. Was well, never the fault of my yakis. My people have been pushed like cattle. But when the time comes, you watch what they do. All these around here, they only my tame ones. Wait till you see my wild ones when they come down from the mountain. It's all the same with you. I think I'll leave first. After you show me how to use the gun. Yeah, after I show you how to use the gun. That's a lot of firepower. How many rounds a minute does it fire? I wouldn't know. You gonna try your hand on it? I've been asked to. You think I'm in Quig's pocket, don't you? 
You're taking his money to do his dirty work. There are different ways of fighting, Mr. Dunham. That's why I didn't turn in my badge. Suppose Lefty Barr or some other one of Quig's gunslingers had taken over my job. Think it over. You want to see how this thing works, give me one of those empty magazines. Oh, hurt me. What do you want? Now, you don't want to talk to me that way, Linda. I'm the only one around here that can help you. You? That's right. Now, look. I know this country around here like the back of my hand, so you say the word and I'll get us both across the board. What do you get out of it? Well, now, we both know that you're too much of a woman for a pup like that Luke Clay. What you need is a, a real man. Somebody like you? You could do worse. I'd sure have to look for a long, long time. <laughs> get out! <laughs> I wonder where he got the pistola. He didn't have it when my Valiente searched him. The next time they search somebody, tell them to look in his boot. Amigo, I am a man of my word. I will have a horse saddled for the senorita in the stable. What did he mean by that? I made a bargain with him. We can both get out of here. I can't do it, Webb. Why not? You're not wound up, and this is the Quigs Jack wants. That's just it. I married Lute. I didn't think you'd go through with it. You didn't give me much choice, did you, Webb? I guess I didn't. It's one of a lot of things I did wrong. Webb, are you leaving? No. Why not? I still have some personal business with the Quigs. Is it because of me? No, not because of you. But why did you try to help me, then? Ask Yankee Jack. He told me all about it. He could be right, too. Bon Bravo of yours, he belonged to the church? Naturally. He's not a heathen like you. Maybe you think that, senor, but my people are not heathen. They will burn candles for his soul. I bet he got plenty of sins on it, too. Well, it's midnight. You change your mind? No. And you're smart enough to know you won't gain anything by killing me. I am also smart enough to know that if you don't pay, I don't lose nothing, neither. Hey, you. When you want to talk with me, senor, you call me general, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, general. I'll make a bargain with you. I'll pay you the $50,000 if you'll get rid of Dunham. Toy, I spit on you, senor. I may be a greedy man, but I don't sell my friends. I give you 24 hours before to think it over, huh? Now you got 15 minutes.
that sort of puts it up to you, Matt. He's bluffing. Well, there's one way to find out. All you have to do is wait 15 minutes. Pay him off, Dad. You've got to pay him off. Do you want to gamble with your life? Mine? I'd gamble with my own life, son. All right. Go tell him I'll pay. I can talk my father into accepting your offer. Will you send me to collect the ransom? You don't have to be talking to not. You already see you're going to pay, otherwise you won't be here. All right, he's agreed to it. Will you send me to collect it? Who else? You'll keep your word? My word always good when it brings me money. How long will you get me? I wait 24 hours. You don't come back, you father. I understand. When can I leave? You leave right away. I need the money. The horse is all ready. I tell the guard to let you go. Can I take my wife with me? Maybe it's a good idea. You think the young senior quick come back with the money? His father trusts him. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not his father. Hey, I'm big of hurry like that, eh? Senior Quiggy just signed the ransom note. His son leave pronto for the border. <laughs> you think you can trust his son? No, I trust him like a snake. But don't worry, he don't come back. I got yuffies on the other side of the border. Hey. Ron. Let me listen to the drum. people from the mountains, the wild ones. They have been surprised by the mountain Colorado. Well, there goes your revolution. Oh, no. We fight with what we got. But I think before the day come, you better get the senorita to leave. We're gonna have a big fight. Here is your gun back. Finally agreed to the ransom. Get your things together and we'll get out of here. Well, who's we? You and me. What about the rest of them? Uh, they'll be all right. I'll, I'll get up a posse. A posse? Then you're not coming back with the money? Well, what difference does it make? It may not make any difference to you, but it makes a lot of difference to me. You mean you're not going with me? I think you know the answer to that already, Lute. You must be crazy. I agree with you. Otherwise, I wouldn't have married you. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. You see, I've already been offered my freedom if I want to leave. Why do you want to stay? One reason was you. I married you, Loot. I had the quaint idea that a wife should stay with her husband. Well, you can be with me now. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, Loot. Run out on the rest of them? You're not even a reason anymore. You just walked out on a wife's share of a million dollars. <laughs> you didn't think about that, did you? In 24 hours, I'll own a Spanish grant and all the rest of my father's holdings. And you'd sell his life for it, wouldn't you? And to think he loves you. Maybe not as much as you think, Linda. Dad. Dad, I... I didn't mean what I was saying. I think maybe you did loot. You seemed a little too anxious for me to write that ransom note. That's why I did it. 
I wanted to see what you'd do with it. I wouldn't run out from you now. You know that. I wanted to trust you for a long time, Loot. That's one of the many mistakes I've made in my life. Now, get up. I'm not through with you yet. I said, get up! Get away from me, Linda. Loot, I said, get up! Can't get up, Matt. He's dead. I killed my son. you were going to kill him. Well, I thought I was, too. Funny thing, all I can do now is feel sorry for him. Webb, I have to talk to you. What do we have to talk about? About the rest of my life and maybe the rest of yours. Your life's pretty well set, isn't it? You were Lute's wife. You'll be taken care of. But that isn't really what I wanted. What did you want? You. I can say that now. Lute's dead. You ought to know by now I've never loved anyone else but you. And why did you marry him? I was all mixed up, I guess. I'm afraid. You're afraid of me? I suppose so. I could never see a future with you, Webb. So I guess I tried to run away. I knew it was a mistake the minute it was over. But, Webb, there's still something I can do. I can try to make right some of the things that Luke did wrong. Hey, come on, amigo, it's no time for talking. The carriage is already, and maybe the Cordano gonna be here before you go. We're ready, Jack. Amigo, there's one thing I don't understand. Why are you gonna take him with you? Why do you want to keep him here? You're never gonna collect on him. Yeah, but everything he do to you and all the other ranchers. That's why I want to take him back. See that he makes up for everything. He's telling to stop firing. What do you do, you crazy? You do this to me, amigo. Take a look at your people, Jack. You want to see them all killed? A good general doesn't sacrifice his people for nothing. Well, I don't argue with no gun. But maybe I make big mistake when I give it back to you. But I think maybe you're right. Seek the man known as Yaki Jack. Senor, I am Generalissimo Yaki Jack. You have caused the Cordado to run as much trouble. Well, that's you, Senor. I am very happy. You know, of course, uh, your cause is lost. 
I know we lose one battle, but there's going to be some more. Not if you give your people orders to give up their guns and go back to their plows. I don't order my people. They do what they want. If you will comply with these official requests, I am authorized to make you a very generous offer. Senor, why you don't kill me instead, eh? You know why you don't kill me? Because you know my people. You kill me, they're going to fight anyway. They will be a nuisance, but nothing more. More blood will be shed, and for nothing. If you will give up the stupid insurrection, I have the authority to offer you a commission and a constabulary. What about the ones you captured? And the ones you're going to arrest later? The firing squad. You should be grateful, senor, for this chance to rise above them. See, si, senor, I guess you're right. I am grateful. I am very grateful for this chance. shot with a gun. Only this time I don't think I ran away. Why did you do it, Jack? You tell me generals don't sacrifice his men. I think good generals don't give up. My people will remember me as general who did not surrender. Please, don't let them punish my people for what I ask them to do for me. Eh? I'll see to it. Then I, I think I go sleep on me, though. There is the border, senor. Thanks. Juan con Dios. Go with God. <laughs> 